For those of you who are not familiar with our story, let me give you a 60-second recap, and then I will get to the point of today's video. About three years ago, we moved to Eretz Yisrael, my wife, my two younger children, Ellie and Dovi, in order to be able to accommodate and support Ellie in a school that would be able to help him. We had looked in America, and we really were not happy with what we had there, and we came to Eretz Yisrael. We found a school called Siach Sod, which was really very good and very helpful to him, and things were going well. However, a short time thereafter, Dovi started to limp. It was not long before they diagnosed him with an early onset and aggressive form of ALS. Within a number of months, he was already in a wheelchair. We added the name Simcha and is now Simcha Dov. The doctors had given up. They even stopped saying Rufua Shalema. However, my wife and I, we did not give up. We looked across the world in order to find something that would be able to help him. And we found a doctor, Dr. Neil Schneider, working out of Columbia in Manhattan, that was working on a treatment for this very specific form of ALS. With much help from many of the people who are listening to this video, we were able to go back to New York, find residents there, and be able to get the treatments. For two years, those treatments were helpful. However, at that point in time, the doctor said that the treatments were no longer effective as Simcha Dov's muscles had already deteriorated to the point that the medicine was not helping anything. He said at that point in time, no, don't make your decisions based upon the treatments. Do what's best for you and your family. We decided to move back to Eretz Yisrael because here we had family and friends who would be able to support Simcha Dov much more than we've had in, Eretz, in America. And indeed, in the years that we've been here, we have had our children, his brothers, nieces, nephews, cousins, admorim, rabbis, chavrushas, people who come and sing and make kumzutzin with him. It's been truly a very supportive environment. However, in the time that we've been here, the situation has deteriorated. Simcha Dov has needed a trach and no longer can breathe on his own. We've had to eat a feed, we had a feeding tube as well. He has a myriad of equipment that is necessary. We've had to move him into the main room to be able to, the only place that he can be with all of that stuff. It has become clear to us that we need an apartment that we can modify to accommodate his needs. The stairs that he used to be able to traverse in order to get out, he no longer can do so. And it takes three or four people holding and carrying the wheelchair and another one carrying the, the medical equipment that's attached to him. And it's a very harrowing experience, which we do not attempt to do so lightly. So we need to be able to find an apartment that we can modify to be able to continue to support Simcha Dov as we continue on this journey. So the point of tonight's request is we're looking to raise at least $300,000 to be able to afford an apartment that we can then modify to accommodate his needs. We have a financial need that we cannot manage on our own and we have to reach out to you, our friends, our families, our loved ones, and our supporters to be able to help us, to be able to create a home for Simcha Dov, a home that will be able to accommodate his medical needs and allow him to be able to continue to be supported in this journey that Hashem has given us. On behalf of my wife and Simcha Dov, thank you for supporting us and helping us to be able to continue this avoida the special avoider that Hashem has given us to be able to support Simcha Dov as he fights this aggressive battle. Thank you.